Hi guys, so welcome to today's video. Um, I just want to apologise for the way I look. I look like I've got super dark eyebrow. And it looks, my skin is looks a bit patchy. And that's just because I've come back from the gym and I've sweated. Um, and all I've got on is literally BB cream, done my eyebrows and some lip balm. If anyone's wondering, it's the lip balm I've got on out of the citrus box. Um, the nice tangy orangey one. But it looks really pink on me on camera, but it's not, it's orangey. So without further ado, I have finally had a Mimi box come. I have no idea what it was. Um, I think the first one that was on my list for shipping was, what, the F box? Um, so I think it's that, whatever it is, it's a small box. I've got quite a, a, a lot this month, we're all standard shipping. And the only downside is you have to wait. Um, I've got the aerial box coming and got, guys, you've probably already seen the spoilers. Um, I haven't looked at the spoilers for it. Um, I'm thinking it's mainly going to be skincare. But I did look at the spoilers of Tinkerbell and Cinderella and I so wished I'd have ordered them. But even I learned from those mistakes. I should just order every box. So it's a little one. Very, very little one. It's very tiny. It makes me wonder what it is. Oh, okay. It's Mission Possible Long Lasting. And I need this. I have terrible oily skin. Um, so, yeah. Mission Impossible Long Lasting. I ordered this because at the time, um, I wasn't taking my pill. My makeup didn't last. And very shortly, I eat in the next week, I'm going to stop it again. So, hopefully, this will help. Um, looks like there's a bit of everything in. Uh, we have three, seven items seven full-size items and the caption that they're giving us is we feel you ladies you wake up in the wee hours of the morning to get your makeup and hair just right um, only to experience a beauty landslide by morning oh by noon it's annoying to say the least however with this just holy grail long-lasting formulas uh, in our mission possible long-lasting you'll forever avoid makeup and hair meltdowns and over common beauty woes forget smudging and fading and keep your hair and makeup looking fresh and just applied all day and all night long no melting no cracking no fading no way downs consider your face and hair fairly in place with this new box because you'll get a long day ahead now i didn't realize it's got um hair products in i didn't realize that um so let's start um Oh, before I start, I just want to say hi to all the new subscribers I've got. I've noticed um, in the last week or so I've started to get some more subscribers, so I'm great. I'm obviously doing something right if people are liking my channel, so thank you. Okay, so back to business. First item, is it this one? Yeah, oh, I can't pronounce the name. Rushin Jelly Lip Tint, looks like that in the box. If I look like I'm shaking, I'm ever so sorry. It's because my muscles are spasming right now from, um, I've just come back from body pump and whew, haven't done it for two weeks and I'm feeling it. This is a nine mil and it's worth $7. And there's quite a few colors we could have had. We could have had Kareen Red, Lily Orange, Kare Red. I don't know what that one is. Another red or pink. So basically, lots of reds or a pink. And I think mine's number four. So that's one, two, three. And then according to that, it looks pink on the... If I count to number four, it's that, and that looks pink. We'll see. Either way. I'm in. That looks pink to me. It's quite nice. Although it does match my red nail polish. This is the Conad um, nail polish out the tropical box, if anyone's wondering. It doesn't really smell of light cheese. It's meant to be scented. So that's what that looks like. Shall we swatch it? So, comes out in a little Dauphinois applicator. 
Okay, it's quite sheer. It's not as opaque as I thought. Like, I thought it was going to look quite opaque. It's quite sheer, so that's quite nice. Because if you look at some of these, they look gel-based. So I've obviously got one of these two. I think I've got the last one there. So that is lovely. And if I shear it out... Yeah, it's a stain, so that's good. I haven't really got the stain, because you can see where it's stained there. So that's nice. So that's that. And I'll read you the little caption. Okay, so here we go. This long-lasting jelly lip tint delivers intense colour with no sticky residue. It provides buildable coverage for a natural, sophisticated or glamorous look. The weightless formula leaves lips stained, soft, hydrated and refreshed upon application applied directly to your lips. Now I will probably, I'll probably wear that tomorrow for work but wear it quite light. So we'll try that out. So liking that, that's nice. Okay and then this one I think was a spoiler and this is the original Raw. Now I do have a uh, face cream by them but I haven't used it yet. Um, this is the Perfect No Sebum Powder SPF 45 um, it's worth $16. Now, I'm currently using IB, IDB, um, face, like a face powder, sebum control. And I use that in my bag. And then I've got the Holika Holika one um, for when I get ready at home. Um, so, yeah, this will go into my spares. But they are quite good. They, they are white, but they come out quite good. This one looks a lot, oh no, it's loose powder. The other one I've got is pressed and the Holika Holika one's loose. So that's not, I thought it was pressed. It's nice and big, isn't it? Nice and, I like the look of the um, container. Okay, so this luxury, luxurious translucent finish powder sets makeup and slightly mattifies the skin without caking and without changing the skin's natural tone. Made with corn powder, rice, black beans and blackberry, this multifunctional powder provides SPF protection, controls excretion of excess sebum and softens the appearance of imperfections, fine lines and pores. Wear it alone or over makeup for a long-lasting makeup stay. A universal shade works for all skin tones to give a soft lit glow. Apply using the included powder puff for a silk finish to make up for a quick fix. So I won't open it, but it's got, I like that. It's got a beautiful mirroring. A nice, big, thick puff. I mean, look at the thickness of that. That, that feels nice. It looks like there is powder on it, but there's not. But yeah, I'm liking that. It's a nice deep pan for that to sit in. And it is sealed. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to. Oh. <laughs> I thought perhaps it would have. Um... Never mind. Silly me. So, yeah, it looks. It looks very fine. If you can see that, it looks very fine. So there, that looks nice. And yeah, look, just loving that packaging. It looks like it's worth more than $16. So that'd be a nice one. It is a bit too big to travel with though, because as you can see, that's more of a bedside powder. So looking forward to using that or for traveling. Be ideal for traveling, um, really. Okay, so then, put that aside. Next product we've got is a Halkin, Halkin Green Tea Curl Rays Essence. Now, as you can tell, I don't have curly hair. We'll see if we can use it anyway. It's worth $24. And that's what that looks like, guys. See if you can focus. And it says it's formulated with organic green tea extracts and moisture polymer. This is a hydrating hair loss essence which not only deeply nourishes damaged ends but also works to style and set your curls for a long lasting volume and gloss. Blow dry first and then style hair with this essence. It's especially suitable for curly hair. So I can use it anyway on my ends. So that's nice. So it basically just stops you getting split ends from the sounds of it. Now, I don't know if I mentioned like I ordered the hair salon box because a couple of the hair products I had been receiving are really liked. 
So I ended up ordering it. Um, and that's what it looks like. And it says, with fantastic combination of green tea, of natural ingredients and water, this creates the effect without sticky feeling and styling at the same time. And it's sealed, as usual. So that's going to be nice, quite nice to use. As always, I'm looking for expiry dates because I still cannot get my head around manufacturing dates, expiry dates. I just can't. I emailed about the rosehip oil from the rose box because somebody posted on Instagram it was out of date in February. I emailed them. They said, no, that was a manufacturing date. It's good for another year. Yet the other person got points back. I don't know. I don't know. Silly. Silly, silly, silly. Okay, then, oh, this looks quite up my street. Julia Garden Makeup Aqua Liner um, in brown. Um, have I got two eyeliners? Oh, I don't know if I've got two eyeliners. Um, it's worth $10 and it says it's a long-lasting, fast-drying liquid eyeliner that delivers precise contouring and flawless clean line. This smoothly applying liquid formula and the tapered brush allows the right amount of ink on the lids, guaranteeing an even line in just one stroke. Use the attached brush to draw in the eye line and create the thickness to your liking. So it's like a liquid liner. Now, I haven't got a liquid liner. I've got gel liners, but never no liquid liners, so it'd be interesting to have. It's quite small, good for travelling. Wow, it looks like a very big brush. You, looking at this, I'll show you. Okay, if we just watch that. That comes out. Oh, it didn't come out as thick as it did. It came out really thick before and I had to just wipe it. But now, it's a nice thin brush. It'll take me some practice to get used to it, but... That's what the line looks, quite nice, quite brown. Well, it is brown. Um, so yeah, I'll also wear that tomorrow. Because browns look good. Browns are better than black sometimes. Okay, so then Riri. We've had a lot from Riri lately. And we've got a Riri product. I'm not quite sure what it is. I don't know if it's primer. And it's the Riri Lux Eye Fixer worth $18. No more smudge panda eyes, coat over eye makeup with this Lux Eye Fix to set it completely for a long lasting formula. Its gentle formula of honey extracts, vitamin E and collagen is non-irritating to the sensitive eye. Apply the fixer over eye makeup. For removal, simply peel off the now coated pigment from your eyelids. That sounds weird. So it's like a top coat. Okay, it's clear. So, what I'm going to do with this is, have you ever lined your eyes and you do a little cat flick and then the cat flick disappears? Have you ever had that? Because I have. That's probably what I'll use. I'll use this as a liner sealer for the corners and I'll try it. So, I'll try that tomorrow. Because you wouldn't put that all over your eye with that thin brush. So, it's quite good. Okay, now we've got another eye primer. Now, I'm currently using an American one, and then I've got another eye primer from upstairs. Was it Proof 10? We had in the Vengabon Youth box, and now we've got Tony Moly eye primer. <laughs> but I use eye primers, so that's fine. Uh, this is worth $5, and it's the Tony Moly Face Mix Eye Primer. And it says, it's a creamy textured primer to be applied before eye makeup application to increase the pigment adherence and long-lasting powder. Uh, power, sorry, and to mattify and smooth out skin texture. Oh, okay. Suitable for all skin types, especially for sensitive skins. Just literally dab onto your eyelids and blend. So that's quite nice. And it actually looks... It's like skin coloured. And then the last one. So I've got a little Mimi fix for today, haven't I? I have. Um... Because, yeah, like I keep saying, there's a drought going on. I don't like this drought. 
Um, yeah, did anyone, I'm going to have a little rant. Did anyone see the crap box they released today? It was for men, and no disrespect to men, but like, I'm not buying my husband one because he doesn't look after his skin, so he won't appreciate Korean skincare. You know, he has like my leftovers, and he's happy with that. But then the point of it was we all woke up to VIP emails to find out, oh, it's sold out. And I'm sure I've seen that on their website before. I'm sure of it. I'm hoping, I haven't had any emails, I've literally just checked in the last five minutes, no more emails have been released, and it's like, you know, come on, makes you think of they going out of business, but then how many boxes they sell, they can't be, but I think what's making it worse for me is because half of my boxes are on standard shipping, and it's like so slow, two of them are still over in Korea, I think, they're waiting for this crap Air France flight, I don't know why they're going through France, um, and then I've, I'm waiting for a test, a test of career order because I ordered the uh, pony palette as well. I'm waiting for that. And I ordered a couple of other things. I think I ordered the secret key iron spot patches. And then I ordered the Tony Moly um, cooling eye cream. And what else did I order? Didn't order anything else from there because I didn't see anything I, I wanted or I'd heard about. Um, I wanted the seven second um, facial sheets that were in the mask box, but they didn't have them on there, so I'll just keep waiting and hovering. And then I ordered O Sheet mask box, and they've took the payment, but I haven't had the box yet, so I need to look into it. And then I'm also waiting for Lip Factory box, which is still, for some reason, was shipped two weeks ago, it's still in America, I don't know what they're doing. And then I'm waiting for my last glossy box as well. So, I feel like I'm all, like, like, normally you feel boxed out. I don't even feel like I'm boxed in. Like, I have one box. Never mind, never mind. I'll just, just play with the products that I've got in, yeah, that'll cure me. Anyways, mise on again. Mise on Oh Shy Real Top Coat Fixer. Then this looks good. I'm currently using the Holika Holika Seban Powder one that smells quite nice and it's worth $17 it says it's a lightweight non-sticky secret weapon for long lasting makeup the O shy real top coat fixer creates a sweat proof rub resistant barrier for fresh looking makeup that lasts up to 12 hours its blend of honey and hydronic acid also increases hydration for a silky smooth appearance that won't dry skin out spray evenly on makeup as a sealing top coat now I do need this in my life because I tell you my makeup is just when I got married on my wedding day, my makeup lasted from early that morning, from when I obviously, because I did my makeup myself, early that morning till like two in the morning and it lasted the whole day. Nothing but I only had to like touch up my lips and that's no exaggeration, it stayed put. But now, because I'm messing around with like my hormones and things with keep chopping and changing medications, it is having a real effect on my skin. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I keep saying I'm rotting. That's what I keep saying, I'm rotting. But, so that's what it looks like, quite nice. And I'm actually gonna... Oh, it smells quite fresh, I'm gonna spray some. I only have BB cream on, but... It smells like perfume or like a body spray, but that's quite nice. And I love the packaging, look at that. It's like, it's like a child's designed it, like drew something. And like, kind of little elephant. How cute is he? But what I like about these is I had one, the Holika Holika one in the car, and I was spraying it on myself, and it felt so refreshing, especially in like this type of weather because it's cold and then you go in your car and you've got your heating on and it's like, it does have an effect on your skin, even oily skin, sometimes I feel so dry and something like this which sets your makeup but just makes you feel perky. So, what will I be using tomorrow? Not this because I'm using the Holika Holika one. Uh, not this at the moment and not this at the moment because obviously saving and not this at the moment because i am put that to my other supply. So I will use three of the seven products tomorrow and 
yeah, which is the sealer, the lip stain, and well, that was the fi the eye fixer, that was the eyeliner, and that was the lip. And I'll try all those tomorrow, and I'll let you know. And look at my double chin. I'm like, oh, I've got to sort this out. So yeah, thanks for watching. Today I just feel it's a bit of a ramble because I don't know what's wrong with me today. Um, but yeah, I mean, I hope guys you're getting your boxes. I hope they're coming through because I think the problem with Mimi is oh no, I primer. I think the problem with Mimi is everybody's got so addicted to them, and people have been having like stacks of them coming through, and like you know, in a week, they've had two come in a week, or like, me, I've had stacks come in one month, and then it feels like it slows down, and then, like, you're just waiting for the next box to be released, and nothing comes up, and it just feels, to some degree, it sounds really sad, it feels a bit disheartening, because, like, you really want it, and it's just not there, and I think what's going to happen is, because I know a lot of people have been sort of saying, like, customer service is shit, which it, it is, to be honest, it's shit, um, people have been saying like with the lack of boxes coming out and how crap their customer services is that they're actually going to start shopping elsewhere because they now know the brands and they know the products and they can look elsewhere I mean Korea Tester or Tester Korea have a look at them guys they offer good pricing you know Etude House as well their website's quite good um, eBay as well for some things are quite good. I mean the was it belief patting water? It's forty six dollars with Mimi. I found it for I think it was twenty. It ba I don't know if it was twenty six dollars. It basically worked out to fourteen pound or something like that with shipping included. And I asked my husband for it for Christmas uh, because I wasn't going to prepare to pay forty six dollars for it and pay six ninety nine shipping. That's ridiculous. Um, so, yeah, just shop around. You will find these things. So, um, I have nothing more really to say. Thank you for watching. I hope to bring you more videos soon. I still haven't decided about the Lucky Box 12 or 14 because I just don't want to part with my um, with my Mimi points just yet. I want to save them up. So, yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.